Ugh, man, what a night. Oh, well hey guys. It's our final day here at the quarry. And so to wrap things up, let's start by making some casts for the bones so they can be safely transported to the lab. First, we cut some burlap. Next, we get a tub of water, and then we mix it with plaster paris. And we mix it until it's a nice, creamy texture. Next, we take the burlap strips, we dip it in the tub, and then once it's soaked with plaster paris, we wrap it around the bone. This forms a cast that protects the bone. It's kind of like a cast for a broken bone, except for the opposite, in this case. Then after we smooth it out a little bit, we let it dry, and then we flip it over gently. Okay. Ooh, just okay. Right. Okay. Now lift it up. Lift it Way up. Way to go, Mike. That's the other side of the bone. Smile, dude. Wow. Okay. <laughs> now, you've got to watch where you move your feet because there's still some bone there. You did it. Okay, now watch it. Man, I gotta tell you, when you're having fun, the day goes by really, really fast. Hey, wait a minute. I think I just found something. Well, this is a nice vertebrae. I wish I would stay longer to uh, dig it out, but, well, it's the last day. I always have this reputation to find the last thing. So this is a sauropod? Yes. Tail vertebrae. Yep. Uh, right here is uh, the neural spur. We'll bionic the whole bone, I guess. We're about to cover up, so... Uh, well, I found some bone for you guys. That's a wrap. Yep. Yep, that is a tail vertebrae. It doesn't look like much now, but when it gets back to the lab, it will look like this. The Let's go ahead and bring a tarp up. <laughs> and so ends my third dinosaur dig in 2013. This year has been great. We found a lot of stuff. And hopefully, we'll find the skull next summer. And I'll guarantee you, I will return one day. Perhaps, maybe next summer. <coughs> Sequel. <coughs> anyway. We'll see what happens. All road again. <laughs> but for now, let's enjoy some campfire songs. Here at the Dino Lab, and we're about to open up a Stegosaur pod with the Stegosaur plate inside with that little buzz saw. Well, we finally got this pod open. Now we can start digging out this stegosaur plate and we'll... <clears throat> As I was trying to say, we're gonna take some time to dig out this rock. The rock surrounding the bone is called the matrix. And, okay, not that matrix, get that out of here. Anyway, when all the matrix is cleaned off the bone, the bone will look like this. As you can see, it's still pretty dirty. So, in order to clean this without harming the bone, we put it in a machine called a microblaster. This machine is full of baking soda and compressed air. This gently cleans off the matrix, and... 
Okay, that's getting old. Let's cut that out. Thank you. Now, once we're done cleaning the bone in the microblaster, the bone will look like this. Jet black. When the stegosaur plate is done, it'll look similar to this stegosaur plate. Preparing one bone takes a very, very long time, and unfortunately, I don't have much time here at the Dino Lab. But a lot of these bones are already done, and you can get a good idea how these animals are shaped. And with a little bit of imagination, you can put flesh on these animals. In my opinion, paleontology is an art. We get to take what we find, and then imagine what these animals could have been like. People always ask me, why am I into dinosaurs so much? Well, that's really hard to say, but I know at least it started when I was very young. When I was like two or three years old, I came across this book on my bookshelf in my room, and um, it was a dinosaur book from the 1960s, and seeing these, the illustrations of these animals um, really fascinated me. And then it went from uh, Fantasia to Land Before Time and then to Jurassic Park and that really got me excited with dinosaurs. And so that's why I'm probably today, I love them for some reason. I'm not so sure exactly why I like dinosaurs. Is it because they're gone? Is it because they're big? Or is it just because they're mysterious? I mean, there is not a clear answer for me of what fascinates me with dinosaurs. And I think I kind of like it that way. Ever since the first dinosaur bones were found, mankind has been trying to piece their lives back together. We may be far from it, but the imagination still runs wild. All around the world, museums celebrate their past for kids and adults. And people like me just can't get enough of these animals. They play a huge role in our lives. In fact, some of us want to make a career out of it by discovering and then teaching the public about our discoveries. Well, that's it for now, but I'll be back on my next dinosaur adventure. What was that? Flew my eye. <laughs> like landed on my eyelashes. <laughs> All right. Okay. I I, I uh, let him come on the digs just to entertain us. <laughs> <laughs> Will that make it on YouTube? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't get any respect. That's what you ought to say. No <laughs> respect. Oh, you did it! <laughs> Is that a blue? He dropped it. Oh my! He dropped God. it. He didn't even. How long you been coming? Shut up. He was hey. good. You're still Look recording. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. Huh? Uh, okay. It's like it didn't I've happen. failed. Uh, wait, say that again? I've failed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going off to commit Harry Carey. <laughs> you dude, your legs are all sunburned. I know. <laughs> I hope you give it to Alan. How's that feel? Oh, God. No, that's what is it? <laughs> well, this place may be full of hills and grasslands right now, 
but 150 million years ago, this place was flat land and drier and wet. Dry and wet, it's the wet seasons. All the lights. That one. Yeah. And action. Hi, my name is Tyler Tufts. Join me in the Judith River Dinosaur Institute in Montana in digging up dinosaur. Ugh, cut. Hi, my name is Tyler Tufts. Join me in the Judith River Dinosaur Institute in Montana as we dig for dinosaurs in the Judith River Dinosaur Institute Little Snowy Mountains Project. Okay, that's a mouthful. Ugh. Well, hey guys. It... Cut. Hi, my name is Tyler Tufts. Join me in the Judith River Dinosaur Institute as we go digging in the dinosaur. Blech. Darn it, that's not the title. And action. Hi, my name is Tyler Tufts. Join me in the Judith River Dinosaur Institute in Montana in. Oh, what are they shouting over there?